There's a very strange guy here. Why is our floor number now displayed incorrectly? Wait, really? Ducks falling from the sky? What should we do with them? Look, she has a gun. Oh no, don't shoot at us, weird blonde. What the hell is going on here? Look, this is a cute pink Pokemon. He's so cute. Looks like he killed us. Imagine what would happen if they all farted in this elevator at the same time. Uh, hello everyone, friends, and today we found ourselves in some kind of endless elevator. But what do we have to do here? I don't know yet. Let's just wait for this elevator to move. I wonder where he will take us. Okay, now we have to go. Wait, what? Why did we stay where we were? Um... There's really something strange going on here. I wish we could finally see where it takes us. I hope at least this time the elevator will take us somewhere. Okay, let's take a look and... Yes, the elevator brought us to some strange location. Why is this boomerang just spinning on the floor? What's going on here? This place is really strange. Well, let's head to the next floor. It seems to me that we didn't even notice that there was an evil Sonic in this location. Well, he didn't succeed in killing us. Why are there some drones in the elevator with us? I do not understand anything. I still don't understand what's going on here either. Okay, let's wait for the next floor. There's a very strange guy here. Looks like he's evil. Why is our floor number now displayed incorrectly? What's going on here? Does he want us dead? Apparently this guy is really evil. I hope he doesn't come into our elevator and kill us. Oh no! We could be crushed by a wall now. We urgently need to press ourselves against the second wall to prevent this from happening. Did she stop? Great. I thought we were really going to die. Well, this floor was actually pretty creepy. I hope that on the next floor something more adequate awaits us. Wait, really? Ducks falling from the sky? What should we do with them? Can they be collected or not? What's going on here? This game is really quite strange. I don't understand what's going on here at all. This is really quite crazy. I still hope that we can take at least one duck with us so that we can quack quack in the elevator when we get scared. Does this sound really relax you? I was afraid of ducks as a child because I was bitten on the butt by a duck when I was a child. This is all very cool, of course, but why the hell is there a boomerang on every floor? Why is it even needed? If I knew the answer to this question, I would definitely answer you. But now I can't understand what's going on in this game as a whole. Where do these guys even get skins and something like that? I saw that someone here even has a weapon. How can we get something like this too? Now we will get to some floor. Just look, this is a huge obby. Perhaps if we pass it, we will receive some kind of prize. So let's try to go through it as quickly as possible to reach the end first. Look, the water is rising. Could this mean that we have no room for error? I hope we don't fall there. Okay, now the main thing is not to rush because if we rush, we may fall down. The main thing is to be concentrated. This looks quite complicated. Go Jax, I believe in you, you will succeed. Oh no, he fell into the water. Look, our HP decreases little by little while we are in the water. We urgently need to get out of this water. Why do you constantly repeat the word water? Did water pay you for advertising? Or do you just love water? Water, water, water. Well, it looks like we won't be getting a prize today. It's a shame I really wanted to get to the top of this obby. Did we die and start over in the lobby? Okay, I hope we don't have to go through the same floors we've already been on. Look, she has a gun. Oh no, don't shoot at us, weird blonde. We will give you all the money. Well, um, is our elevator completely filled with trash? What? Guys, this is an elevator and not a garbage chute. Why is there so much garbage here? Well, great. All the garbage has disappeared and now we are waiting for the next floor. I hope there won't be a room with ducks. And I would like to listen to the quack of ducks again. Okay, look, there are two guys standing here and one is asking the other for a hot dog. What's going on here? What the hell is going on here? This is really some strange nonsense. What did we just see? We found a hot dog. Great. I hope this guy isn't too sad about this. Now this hot dog is ours. I really don't understand what we need to do with him. Wait, does this hot dog make a sound? I think this is the best loot we could find in this game. I think this is one of the strangest games we've played. Besides Pomni's and the Bubble Favorite game, definitely the weirdest game I've played would have to be My Horse Prince. It's a mobile dating sim where you're dating an anthropomorphic horse. It's pretty strange and bizarre as you train and groom your horse and romance him in different settings like the beach, park, and other places. It's hilarious and completely unhinged, so it definitely qualifies as the strangest game I've ever played. I'm not even surprised that you played some nonsense like this. You really love weird games. The weirdest game I've played would have to be Goat Simulator. In this game, 
You play as a goofy looking goat who can do all sorts of crazy things like jumping on top of buildings and cars, destroying objects, and even flying around using a jetpack. It's a completely nonsensical and bizarre game with no real goal or purpose other than just causing as much chaos as you possibly can. Look, this is a cute pink Pokemon. He's so cute. I hope he gives us some interesting loot or something. Looks like he killed us! Well, apparently this Pokemon isn't as cute as we thought. Okay, we've reappeared in the lobby and now we need to go to the elevator. What are these sounds? These guys have pistols with grappling hooks. I also want such a gun. He would have helped us pass that obby that we couldn't pass. Okay, the elevator door opened and... What? A huge number of noobs come to us. Why are there so many of them? Imagine what would happen if they all farted in this elevator at the same time. I wonder if you can actually die from this. I can't make out what they are saying. Well, I hope this is something normal and we won't have to censor the word. Okay, they're gone. Now let's just wait for the next floor. Look, the door is opening. Oh my god, this is the room from the game portal. So I was playing through the game and had just completed a difficult challenge. I felt proud of myself for making it through. But then I suddenly heard a new voice saying, Good job, dummy. Now do it again, but this time without using any portals at all. It turned out it was a joke added by the devs and I had just gotten trolled. Well, we're done with the room from the portal game, and let's now see what the next floor will be like. I hope there will finally be something where we get loot. Okay, the door has opened and let's see what awaits us on this floor. Um, Taco Rain? Seriously? Well, it even made me a little hungry. Wait, I just noticed that our hot dog is missing? Is it really possible for you to lose all your items when you die? This is very stupid. Someday we will finally understand why this boomerang is here, but it definitely won't be today. Okay, maybe we can finally get some tacos in our inventory. It seems to me that they cannot be selected. Well, it's just a floor of falling tacos. This game is really quite strange. I don't know what the final goal could be here, other than to go through all the floors that are here. Okay, let's move on to the next game. I think we need to go up these stairs and press that button on the second floor. Seriously? I thought big red buttons were just for decoration. Why does he even wear glasses if he only has one eye? That even such a small brain as Jax's can cope with it. If you say anything about my brain one more time, I will make a swing out of your ribbons and put a 130 kilogram fat woman on it. I just love playing with poop, squeezing pimples and other things you call disgusting. Please, when a pimple pops up on my face in real life, don't even come close to me. Hello everyone, friends, and today we will play Mr. Stinky's Prison Escape. I wonder what difficulty I should choose. You did the right thing by choosing expert difficulty. It seems to me that only noobs play at the easy difficulty level. Seriously? The secret passage from the prison cell was blocked by a huge piece of cheese? Well, I think this prison is quite strange. I completely agree with you, Regatta. Okay. I think we need to go up these stairs and press that button on the second floor. Seriously? I thought big red buttons were just for decoration. Pomni, you don't have to say such obvious things. I think I could have guessed that this button had to be pressed. Look, it's Mr. Stinky. Great, we pressed the button and now we definitely need to run to that exit. This Mr. Stinky looks very funny. Why does he even wear glasses if he only has one eye? Okay, I guess it's not that important. Let's just go up these stairs and go to the next area. Bye-bye, Mr. Stinky. Stay in this room and continue to stink in here. I already like this map. It's really nothing like Barry's prison break. Look! Someone left their smelly socks in this ventilation. There are also cans of stinky beans and stinky cheese. Who even leaves ventilation like this? This terrible smell can spread throughout the entire ventilation shaft and later, throughout all the rooms. It seems to me that this way Mr. Stinky creates a favorable atmosphere for himself. Okay, let's just try to get out of this prison. To do this, we need to go through all these obby. So far, I can't say that this is really some kind of difficult mode. The only difficulty here is the rather narrow platform we just jumped onto. I don't see anything more complicated here. As soon as you said this, Jax immediately fell. Perhaps this fan was blowing too hard and Jax could not cope with the force of the airflow. He never admits his mistake. Rather, he will say that his mouse is dead or his screen is frozen or maybe a button on the keyboard is stuck. But he definitely won't say that it was his mistake. Maybe you should just shut up and stop pestering me. Let's just get through this game without further ado. Guys, stop quarreling. We just passed this trampoline test. Okay, let's see what we have next. Oh, just look, 
This is a test with lasers. It's almost the same as in Barry's prison break. Only there we went up and here we go down. This test is much more difficult than the laser test in Barry prison. There were just spinning lasers, but here there are whole laser grids where you need to get into one cell. We did a great job with this. It was pretty easy. Even if it's a little more complicated than what we did before. Wait, was this really a task? Did we just have to change all the glasses to red ones? It seems to me that the task could not have been easier. Well, okay. The main thing is that we dealt with it. And now the next boss, Stinky, awaits us. While you were telling me how easy this level was, we have already passed this boss and are moving on to the next location. You are such a chatterbox bubble. Look at this, something like a race with energy drinks only here instead of energy drinks. There is cheese. Okay, let's see what comes of this. Wow! Is it just me, or does the character here run even faster than the character in Barry's prison after you drink an energy drink? This cheese is really some kind of super accelerating cheese. Yes, I thought so too. It's a pity that in this game the race doesn't last as long as in Barry's prison. But nevertheless, I really liked it. I especially liked it because at the end of the race we have to jump on a trampoline. This is very unusual. Great! We're done with it! Let's now see where we need to go next. Oh, I think I see a shovel. This task is already familiar to us. In Barry prison we dug a tunnel in the room with the toilets. Here we also need to dig a tunnel but in some kind of sandbox. Look, it's just another obby. I think it looks pretty complicated. There are a lot of winding paths, and you need to constantly jump. Kingler, are there obbies in which you don't need to jump? It seems to me that you are talking complete nonsense. Perhaps if you think that this level is too difficult, you are already too old for it. It seems to me that you are swearing too often today. Look in this challenge, you need to take a huge cheese and put it on this platform to make the door open. Otherwise, if we just step on it and then walk away from it, the door will close again. Abby again? I would love to see logic puzzles in this game. The riddle with the glasses was of course quite interesting, but it seems to me that even such a small brain as Jax's can cope with it. If you say anything about my brain one more time, I will make a swing out of your ribbons and put a 130 kilogram fat woman on it. So if I were you, I'd be more careful with my words. Okay, don't be angry. It was just a friendly joke. I didn't think she would cause such a reaction in you. Maybe you need to learn to laugh at yourself. Your joke seemed more offensive to me than all the name calling I ever heard at school. Uh, believe me, I suffered a lot of bullying at school. I would really like to know how you were insulted at school, but it seems to me that you won't tell it. No way in life. So let's just focus on completing this map as quickly as possible. I would really like to get on the leaderboard for beating this game on hard mode. Look! These are some giant hammers with spikes and a bob sticker. Be as careful as possible, Jax! Don't rush forward, otherwise this may lead to you having to start the test again. Guys, more than beat this game, I want only one thing for you to stop giving me meaningless advice. If you are such professionals in this game, then why am I sitting and playing it instead of watching you do it? Perhaps this happens because you always say that you are the one who will play the game today. The only time you give up a game is when we play our favorite game, Pomni. But it seems to me that all of us except Pomni and the bubble would give it up. I just love playing with poop, squeezing pimples and other things you call disgusting. It's a lot of fun. Please, when a pimple pops up on my face in real life, don't even come close to me. Don't you dare come within a meter of me. I don't trust you with my beautiful face. Look, we're going somewhere on a zip line. All my life, I've been amazed in games by how the main character can calmly use a zip line. I don't know the end point of movement. He's just trying for this stick and he's going, I don't understand where. In this game, we simply had no other options. The only way we could continue our journey in this prison was a zip line. Great, we've landed somewhere. Let's see what awaits us here. Look, I see some strange multicolored thing in the distance. I think we definitely need to approach her and interact. This is definitely something important. She has an eye. Let's see what we need to do here. Wait, this is a platformer style boss fight? What? It was certainly done in an interesting way, but I was definitely expecting something different. Something more colorful and fun. Why is his health declining so slowly? We're hitting it! This guy is pretty agile. He is very lucky that he can pass through the platforms on which we stand. This is a huge advantage for him. He flies after us so actively. 
It seems to me that the best tactic to fight against him is to find some position and shoot from it for a long period of time. Then again, move away from him to a safe distance and shoot until he gets close to us. While you were telling me your very interesting, very smart, mind-blowing tactics, I was able to defeat him. Okay, is this the end of the game? There was some kind of flash and we fell into the water. Need to get out of here. Just look! It's our huge copy calling us! I see the leaderboard there! We urgently need to come up and find out whether we are on the leaderboard or not! For now, we maintain a leading position in the leaderboard on this server. Unfortunately, we are the only ones on it. Wait! Are we really going to climb the steps on a jet ski? Um... How does it work? Oh my god, just look at this water. It really looks like jelly or something. <gasps> hey, fatty! Try to catch up with us! Ha ha, it was so easy! Bye bye, buddy! You can't doubt me, Kane! I'm pro in this game! Press the jump button. Okay, what did you say? I think you overestimated yourself a little. Um, Jax, are you serious? This was one of the easiest tasks in this game. Great, you did it! We completed this game in 600 seconds! It was pretty easy! Hello everyone, friends, and today we are playing Barry Prison Escape with Water. What's another prison break? Did they make some new part? Yes! And here you can ride jet skis! I'm wondering if there will be a jet ski in the last boss fight? So far, I don't see anything new in this prison escape. All tests are exactly the same as in the original. Guys, stop complaining. We've only completed the first two tests. Let's see what awaits us in the first escape from the boss. I'd like to see something new in Barry's prison break. Oh, look, it's water and jet skis. Do we really have to run away from him on a jet ski? Let's wait until he moves a little to the left. Great, let's mm. swim to the button. That's it, now we can go upstairs. Look, there are a lot of cops behind bars. Wait, are we really going to climb the steps on a jet ski? Um, how does it work? Overall, this is a pretty interesting mechanic. It really adds something new to the game. Okay, now let's get through this obby and see what lies ahead. They didn't even change that obby. There is too little innovation in this game. Okay, I hope there's really something new ahead of us. Okay, now we'll find ourselves in a room with toilets. Do you think it will be flooded? No, it's still the same room with toilets. Okay, let's dig down and see what awaits us in Obby Dungeon. This tunnel also remained unchanged. Well, let's see what awaits us in the dungeon. Maybe there will be water instead of lava. Um, no, it's still lava here. They didn't even make a new Obby here. Okay, let's go through it quickly. I think we can get through this with our eyes closed, but no. Jax, how did you fall? It's good that the checkpoint has been preserved and we don't need to go through it again. Okay, let's take this last step and then a tunnel with a huge rolling ball awaits us. This obby is really light. For me, it is always associated with the upcoming boss. I'm wondering, will we have to run away from the boss knight on a jet ski? In general, it will be quite strange if there is water on the second floor, but there is none on the first floor. Physics works a little differently. Normally, the water should float downward. I can't wait to see this boss. I hope they at least changed his model. Boss Knight has always been the easiest of all bosses. You can get through it using a life hack. Oh my god, just look at this water. It really looks like jelly or something. Okay, here comes the Boss Knight. He also has a jet ski. We need to turn this lever? Great, we did it! Hey, fatty, try to catch up with us! Ha ha, it was so easy! Bye bye, buddy! Great, we've done it now! We need to overcome these stairs, and we will find ourselves in a location with a race with energy drinks. This is my favorite part of this game. I like the speed that the character develops. It really gets really fast! Now we will go up using this elevator and find ourselves right there! Great, we are in place! Well, let's start the race! I hope we can pass this the first time. Don't worry, Pomni. Jax is a pro at this. He also loves this challenge more than any other in this game. I think this is the most interesting part of this game. I wish I could complete the entire game at that speed. Yes, he is really fast. What if only in real life energy drinks would give such super speed? Unfortunately, it doesn't work that way. Okay, we've already passed this race. Now the most tedious part in this mode awaits us. I just can't stand this ladder task. I never managed to jump on the vent the first time. I completely agree with you. This task is the stupidest in this game. I would like to see it replaced with something more active. I wonder if there will be water there too. In this game, there is water only in the boss areas and in the very first prison cell. If only they could actually make it possible to play this game entirely on a jet ski. It would add a lot of variety to this game. I'm not even surprised that you couldn't jump into the ventilation on the first try. This task is truly idiotic. 
The height of this ladder is not enough to properly jump into the ventilation. Look, they added water under this bridge. I wonder why they even did this. I don't think we should check whether it's possible to swim in this water. Let's just pass this test and head to the valves. But it seems to me that the task with the valves is the most tedious task in this game. It's even more boring than jumping from the stairs into the ventilation. They don't even change the location of the valves in this location. You just need to follow the same route and turn three valves to go further. Have you seen this guy with a huge laser beam coming out of his hand? I wonder how this could help beat this game. Could we really do more damage to the boss with this beam? I think this is a waste of Robux. We will go through all this without boosts. Totally agree with you. It seems to me that this Abi race is much more interesting to complete without the help of boosts. Great. We unscrewed all three valves. Now let's send all the ventilation, and then a more interesting test awaits us. I really like the fan run. There the character also develops quite a lot of speed, like in a race with energy drinks. Okay, we're almost there. It's good that the most boring part of this game is over. Look, it took us only 370 seconds to complete half the game. Does this mean that we can set our own personal Barry Prison break record? It looks like we will really succeed. Great! Now let's complete this fan run as soon as possible. I hope Jax doesn't screw it up and gets through it the first time. You can't doubt me, Kane. I'm pro in this game. The hardest part of this game is left behind. Now, after we complete the race with fans, Boss Chef is waiting for us. I wonder if there will be a jet ski there too? Now the most important thing is to remember to press the jump button. Okay, what did you say? I think you overestimated yourself a little. Now completing this game will take us a little longer. I hope we can still set our personal record. Look, there is also a jet ski in water. This means that these benches will not interfere with us and we will be able to kill this boss much faster. Cool, these benches always annoyed me. Jax, I think you have a little problem with your aim. Maybe you should swim away from him to a safe distance and shoot at him while in one place. It will really be easier. Look in this mode, the weapon does a lot more damage. It really makes things easier. Now this boss fight has become even easier than it was. Great. It won't take us much time and we can reach the finish line much faster. It's a pity that they didn't provide the opportunity to go down this slide on a jet ski. It would be much cooler than just sliding off it as usual. It would be like going down a slide at a water park. Either way, this slide is always fun. Okay. Now we'll go up this ladder, and a challenge with lasers awaits us. Do you think there will be water there too? Look at the water here! Wait, do we have to swim up this water? I hope this doesn't affect maneuverability in any way. Oh no! Management has really changed. I find it more difficult to swim from side to side. Okay, now I'll concentrate as much as possible to pass this test the first time. Last laser left. Great, you did it very cool. To be honest, I didn't even believe that you could pass this the first time. Okay, now we just have to pass the bridge test before the final boss fight. I hope you remember the life hack on how to complete this task faster. Are you talking about the fact that you need to reset all the bars down first? It seems to me that all players in this mode know about this life hack, which they went through Obby Prison Barry Escape at least three times. Um, Jax, are you serious? This was one of the easiest tasks in this game. How did you manage to screw this up? Now we definitely won't be able to set a record. Concentrate more. I hope you can make up for this time by killing the boss faster than usual. There's nothing wrong with that. Everyone makes mistakes sometimes. Okay, I'm sure he can get through this as quickly as possible. I really want to see the final boss fight. We only have two bridges left to build to see the final boss fight. I'm pretty sure they added water and jet skis there. I think it really adds variety to this boss fight. The main thing is that the final boss does not lay down as happens in most of these modes. Okay, let's take a look at this location. There is water and a jet ski here, cool! Okay, look, this is the final boss! Hooray! He does not stand in one place but follows us! Great! But why isn't he on a jet ski? He might drown! It seems to me that for him to drown, he needs to fall on his back. Okay, Jax, don't forget that you need to shoot his guns to defeat him. Guys, don't worry, I've already defeated these bosses 50 times. This boss is much easier to defeat due to the fact that we have a jet ski. I have already taken away more than half of his HP. It will be an easy victory. 
Come on, Jax, only a few shots left. Great, you did it. We completed this game in 600 seconds. It was pretty easy. I really like this mode. I'm waiting for them to release a mode where you can play through the entire game on a jet ski. Wait, are we really going to the finish line by car? Um, but why? There's water all around here and we're on a jet ski. We can get there with it. Okay, I'm not looking for logic in this game anymore. But look how fast this car goes. It feels as if this is not a car, but some kind of speedboat or train. Great, I liked this mode. Now let's head to the helipad. Hello everyone, friends. Today we are playing School Escape on Roblox. The following will play with me today. Kane, Regatta, Pomni, Kingler, and Zubal. Guys, say hello to the audience. Are you playing from the zoo? It sounds as if you are now in an enclosure with monkeys. Hello everyone, friends. Hello everyone, dear friends. He just went back to his parents for Christmas. Hello everyone, friends. From a scientific point of view, you are wrong, remember? He is a hare. This means that he must be with the hares. And hares, as a rule, do not make sounds. Hello everyone, dear viewers. Hare! I kept thinking he was a rabbit. Hi everybody. I'm not a hare! How many times do you need to repeat? Have you even seen my ears and long paws? Rabbits don't have these. They are usually very passive and fluffy, and I have smooth hair. You're too cute for a bunny, and too cowardly, I think. That's why I think you're more like a rabbit. But okay, the hair is a hair, he persuaded. Have you ever thought that each of us is a different creature who speaks like a human being? In theory, only Pomni should be able to talk. Okay. That's not what I'm thinking about. Let's play. Yes. That's not what you're thinking at all, Kingler. We are now doing parkour in the basement of some school. Don't you think it's strange at all that there are such passages in the school basement? Maybe this is some kind of school for minors or something like that? School for minors? What the hell are you talking about, Jax? The most common technical underground premises? Yes, with a strange location. But this is Roblox. Everything is different here. It's a pity that in Roblox, not everything is like in life. I would like Robux to become a global currency. And we could pay in all stores using Robux currency. It would be cooler than Bitcoin. I wonder how many Robux Hershey's would cost. Guys, what are you talking about today? Is Robux a global currency? What are we even talking about? We're just playing Roblox here. Listen, does this mode remind you of anything? We've already played Escape from a women's prison, Escape from a farting prison, Escape from a children's prison, and now this. Holy cow. We play the same game again and again, just in a different shell, right? No, Zubal. This particular mode is very different from the previous ones. There are no repeating rooms or identical bosses. I like playing this mode much more than others. The boss in this level is again too fat. I wonder where is the best place to escape. By the way, it's very strange that in every level the boss is fat. Maybe fat people are just very angry? Hey! This is called fat shaming! In general, not all modes had fat bosses. In the children's prison, the babies weren't fat. All children are a little chubby when they are born, but this does not mean that they are fat. In general, this mode is really very interesting. It is much more interesting than all the previous ones. And definitely more interesting than a gym simulator or something like that. I'm already tired of grinding in these modes. Yes, everything here is like in a real school except for the basements. Look, even now we have come to some kind of gym. It's true that no one in the gym has a huge gap, but it's still similar to what you'd have in a real school. This is much cooler than previous shoots. If there was a huge pit in our school gym, I would be the best athlete because I wouldn't want to die. If there were huge pits in the gym at my school, I would simply not go to physical education. It would be very stupid to fight for your life every lesson. Do I look like a Viking? Like at the beginning, 30 people are recruited into a school class, and only five reach the end of the school, all beaten and with pain in their eyes. And I would go to such physical training. I'm flying. I don't really care about these giant pits. I could only die if I fell asleep on a mat somewhere at the very top. I guess with your love of sleep, this wouldn't be a problem. I remember when we were all going camping together and planned to get ready at 8 a.m. As a result, you woke up only at 3 p.m. when we had already returned from there. Yeah, or how you yourself scheduled a morning meeting for us and postponed it until tomorrow all week. And why? Because you've been playing Fortnite all night, Kane. Maybe you should stop playing games until late. You have a lot of time in the evening. Guys, I'm quite an old man. If you are young and can sleep for four hours, then be active and vigorous. 
At my age, if I don't sleep eight hours, I'll be exhausted all day. So show some respect. I completely agree with Kane. At this age, it is almost impossible to sleep less than nine hours. The body simply refuses to wake up. It's as if your body doesn't listen to you, and you only want to sleep and are ready to do anything for it. Maybe then you should go to bed earlier, like 8 p.m. or 9? Then you will have enough time to get enough sleep, and you will be able to wake up early in the morning and have time to do all your business. Or maybe you should try to fall asleep at 8 or 9 p.m. yourself. What will happen to you then? Will you wake up at 5 a.m.? And what should I do from 5 a.m. to 8 while everyone is sleeping? And falling asleep earlier is an almost impossible task. You lie down in bed, but still can't sleep. And you lie there until 5 a.m., until your body begins to give up. Okay, stop arguing. Elders must be treated with respect. When we become old, we will definitely understand you. In the meantime, I'm glad that I can play all night, sleep for a few hours, wake up, take a shower, and feel 100% alert. When I was young, I could do the same. But now I have lost all these opportunities. And I'm very sad about this. Imagine, I can fly, perform magic tricks, and do a lot of other magical nonsense, but I can't sleep for four hours. It's really sad for me. Sorry, Kane. I didn't know this was a sore subject for you. I won't talk about this anymore. Thank you for telling us about this. Yes, I also didn't know that it was so difficult for you. This is why I don't want to grow old. This is terrible. You sleep for almost a third of the rest of your life. It's horrible. But we don't need to deal with nonsense like school, homework, and other nonsense. We can just wake up any day and sit down to play whatever we want, and no one will stop us from doing this. That's the cool thing about getting old. And a long sleep is what balances our capabilities. What is this? Racing? Admit it. Who at school also had a racetrack with go-kart cars? I personally didn't have one. Then why run away from this school? I would spend my whole life in it, and specifically stayed for the second year so that I could have free karting. Oh no, I lost. I didn't know she could explode from something like that. Map creators, have you even played GTA 5 or BM Engine Drive? Cars shouldn't break from a slight jump LMAO. By the way, about GTA, maybe we can make a Let's Play based on it? I really love GTA, especially the modes where you need to undergo tests on cars in the sky. By the way, I recently won a car in a casino in GTA Online. I now have a cool McLaren. Yes, we can film a Let's Play for GTA 5 only if the viewers write about it in the comments. I remind you, dear friends, that we are waiting for your comments with the games you love. We will definitely play your favorite games in our videos. And if you are still watching our videos without subscribing, be sure to subscribe to the channel so as not to miss new videos. Hooray! We are still leading in this race. Of course we will be ahead. Have you even seen the size of this teacher? How can a go-kart even go when he's driving? There's no wait for it. You see, there is even karting in this mode. There was nothing like this in past prison escapes. Of course, there was some kind of track with a car, but it was very poorly made. There, the car looked like it was flying, and there was no enemy there. You just drive in a straight line, and that's it. All that remains is to see the final boss. Although, even if I see some Cyber Teacher 3000 with lasers in his hands, I won't be very upset. This game is already much more interesting than all the previous ones. Something tells me that this will happen, because all other games are completely copied from this one. I wouldn't say it's very bad. This gives the game variety, but they are all made too boring and monotonous. And this game has so many possibilities that every room surprises me with something new. This is great. Look, Cyber Teacher 3000 with lasers instead of hands, Zubal, have you already played this game? Okay. As I understand it, the requirements for winning are the same here. You just have to shoot him in the hands, right? No. Here it is enough to hit him with projectiles. Everything is very easy. But nevertheless, I really like the game. I give it 10 points out of 10. Yeah, me too, especially karting. This is very cool. The game has puzzles, a shooter, and racing. This game combines several modes. This is great. The only thing missing here is to add the ability to build. And this will be a cool alternative to Fortnite. Great. We beat this game. It wasn't difficult, but the tasks were really very interesting. True, something more interesting could have been added in the final boss fight. In any case, it didn't make the game any more boring. 
Yes, the game turned out to be quite fun. I really liked Kartung. Now I'm going to look for racing on Roblox. Perhaps if our viewers know some interesting modes with cars, I will definitely play them. Hello everyone, friends! Today we are playing Roblox again and again together with our friends from Poppy Playtime. With us today are Jax, Kane, Pomni, Catnap, Bubba Bubba Fant, Crafty Corn, and Kickin' Chicken. Say hello, friends. Hello everyone, friends. Hello, dear subscribers. Hello, dear guys. Hi, everyone. Hello, dear subscribers, DB Blocks channel. Hello, friends. Hi, everyone, guys. Today we are again playing a mode where you need to escape from prison. We've already played a mode where you have to escape from a farting cop's prison and from a girl's prison. Today we escape from baby prison. Here all the cops are cute little babies. I really want to see them soon. Our game is also about escape, but we don't have a prison, but a children's play area. But with us, it's the other way around. Our animatronics catch the babies, not the babies catch the fugitives LMAO. Maybe we should also add a mode where we will run away from our pursuers and we will be scared. Hmm. I'd try it. This prison is very similar to a women's prison. Here, too, everything is pink, and the tests are almost the same. But here, everything is much more beautiful. Everything sparkles and glows, and the graphics are nice. Look, this baby cop wants to catch up with you. Hey, baby! You should learn to run before you take this job. Hell, the challenges in these games are the same. We've already done prison breaks, so it'll be much easier for us to do it a third time. This game lacks a horror atmosphere. Everything is so pink and childish. And there are no screamers here at all, why? This would add interest to the passage of these prisons. I would even record a walkthrough of this game myself. Maybe we can somehow record the passage of the Roblox doors. There are a lot of jump scares and a creepy atmosphere. These toilets look exactly like the toilets in Prison Break. In fact, this is the same game, only here the bosses have been changed. By the way, I'm very interested in what the bosses in the next rooms will look like. Hopefully there won't be a super baby robot with lasers at the end. This will be an exact copy of the last boss from the farting prison. Dungeon again? Hey, map creators, aren't you getting lazy there? This is a 1.1 copy of Escape from a farting prison. Even the parkour challenge is the same. Why are they so lazy? Show at least a little imagination. I've already completed this game. But here, after all, everything is much more beautiful than it was in the escape from the farting prison. And certainly more beautiful than an escape from a women's prison. And here, every time you pick up a cup, you get some kind of bonus. That's cool, isn't it? Yes, but the guys are tired of going through the same thing. Maybe something new awaits us next? We haven't seen all the bosses of this game yet. Perhaps there will be some interesting boss that will be super difficult to defeat? Let's continue playing and see what awaits us. But I haven't seen anything new here yet. Again, a huge meatball that rolls down from above and you need to hide in the corners from it. It's the same as if in Poppy Playtime 3 you had to go through the same puzzle every time in every room. This is boring, isn't it? Then maybe we can try to set a record for completing it. Kind of like a speed run, you know? You completed the last prison in 11 minutes. Let's check how quickly you can cope with this one. It's easy for you. And now, we will see the new baby boss. I think he will be different from the previous fart night. Oh, that's a little devil cop. He looks creepy and cute at the same time. But this pentagram on the floor really looks scary. I wonder if this imp cop is as easy to fool as the night cop. I think yes. This little cop was very easy. Well done, Regatta. You get it right the first time. Maybe you are a walkthrough master. Even I wasn't able to do everything as quickly as you did. It's a pleasure to watch you play. Thanks, Jax. I'm trying really hard to get through this as quickly as possible. I watched you go through the map with the farting cop, remember? I want to set a new record in this game. By the way, guys from Poppy Playtime, what are your favorite modes in Roblox? As far as I know, you also like to play it. I love parkour. I'm a huge fan of parkour maps in Roblox because I play only up in Fortnite a lot. I really like all the extreme jumps. I also love parkour servers in Minecraft. When I was little, I constantly logged into Minecraft just for the parkour maps. My brother once built a huge parkour map for me and said that if I completed it in 20 minutes on the first try, he would buy me anything at McDonald's. And guess what? I completed it in 11 minutes the first time. Since then, I love parkour in all games, including Roblox. And I love all horror modes, but my favorite is Roblox Doors. I've played it 25 times, and I still don't get tired of it. I'm very afraid of the Screech Monster. He clings to you with zooms, and if you don't notice him, he starts screaming very loudly. I also love Ambush. 
I think this is the most hardcore monster in the game. When you hear that he appears, you need to find shelter as quickly as possible and sit in it for quite a long time. He is much more difficult than Rush, because Rush notifies you that he will soon appear long before his appearance, and you have enough time to hide from him. And he also does not return back, as Ambush does. I love gym simulators because you constantly watch how your character changes. I don't really like simulators where you only have one way to build muscle. I love these simulators where you need to train your arms, legs, and torso separately. It's very funny to me when I see characters with very pumped up arms, but a small torso and thin legs. They look very funny. I even donated to one gym simulator so that my character could pump up his muscles even when I leave the game. Now I am one of the top three bodybuilders on the server. I just love animal breeding simulators. I really love all kinds of cats, dogs, chickens, sheep, goats, and pigs. I really like to spin the wheels of fortune where you can get various rare animals. I also like to exchange animals with other players and create new types of different cool animals. I also donated to this game and I already have six golden sheep, which bring me a lot of coins. I want to combine them to get a diamond sheep that will give me a million coins per minute. Wow, wow, I didn't know you had so much knowledge about Roblox. This is very cool, guys. By the way, I would like to thank all our viewers for watching our videos. For your sake, we try to release videos every day. You are wonderful. I also want to ask you to subscribe to our channel if you haven't already, and like this video. This really motivates us to record new videos for you. I also want to remind you that we are preparing a surprise for you when there are 2,000 of you on our channel. And we are also waiting for your comments about what game we should play. Turn on notifications so you don't miss a video of your favorite game. Guys, you play Roblox every day. Tell us about your favorite maps, too. You have them, too, and we are very interested to know about them. Maybe we'll try to play them, too. My favorite mode is called Yeet Your Friend. This mode has everything. Pets, new cards, and character improvement. We recently played with the guys, and I got three of the rarest pets. I was very happy because pets in this game strengthen your yeet, and I had the strongest yeet on the map. I heard somewhere that they will soon add visual muscle growth when you strengthen your yeet, and I think that this is logical. After all, the further you can throw your friend, the stronger you are. I sometimes play this game without recording, and I have already reached the penultimate location. I won't even finish playing this game, so you understand. I just love the mode where you have to look for your body parts. It turns out that there are different maps there, and your body parts can be at completely different ends of this map each time. This mode is simply amazing. I love playing with friends, because if they suddenly find your body part, they will tell you about it in chat, and you can exchange it with them. This is a very fun mode, especially when you have some other donated skin, and your body part immediately stands out among everyone, especially if you have a glow effect or something like that. My favorite mode is Prop Hunt. I have already become a master of this game. I know all the cards by heart. I know where each prop is located, and I know where to go to hide. I really don't like it when I get a big prop like a bench in this mode, you know? You are constantly running around the map and don't know where to disguise yourself so that no one understands where you are. Or many hunters like to jump on some benches out of nothing to do and may accidentally jump on you. Because of this, I like to play for small tests, like a ball or a burger. I once got a burger on a bowling map and hit on the table, like I was an ordinary dish. And even when I was left alone, no one could declassify me. Your modes suck! My favorite mode is called Rich vs. Poor. There you can play both for a poor player and for a rich one. There are as many as 115 levels, and almost all of them have very difficult parkour. And since I am a professional parkourist, I pass all the tests on such maps the first time. By the way, Catnap, we need to organize a parkour competition with you. Jax turned out to be too easy an opponent and I defeated him very quickly. It seems to me that our battle in parkour can become legendary. Don't you think so? I agree, but we will only do this when your channel reaches 5,000 subscribers. As soon as we see this figure, we will immediately film our fight on any parkour map. Catnap, I'm sure you can defeat him easily. I saw how you parkour, and it's amazing! You parkour like a pro! That's why I think Kane doesn't stand a chance. Guys, look, this is the final boss, and it's not a baby robot, but baby Zeus, the god of lightning. Wow, this is a very tough boss, but I think I can beat him easily. This is a child, come on! Come on, Regatta! Shoot him! You are doing very well! You almost broke Jax's record.
You've almost got it. Just a little left. The main thing is not to fall into his hands. Shoot him. Don't stop. You did it very quickly, Regatta. Well done. You broke Jax's record. I congratulate you and am very happy for you. Hello, everyone, friends. Today we are playing Roblox, where we will escape from a children's prison. We chose a ninja theme and an expert level of difficulty. That's why Kane will try very hard today. Guys, we've already gone through an escape from a children's prison. I definitely remember some kind of escape map where the kids were cops. I know this game. It's different from the one we played. Everything is different here. We should like this game like when we played Escape from School. I see the differences from the very start, and I really like it. I'm already tired of going through the same games that just look different. I didn't think I'd say this, but I agree with you, Kingler. Map creators have stopped trying to create their games. Maybe we will like this game more than the others? We haven't played any of the previous games, but I'm sure this game will be very interesting. Everything here is very colorful and dynamic. I hope we don't have to kill anyone here. I really don't like killing games. They make me cry. Gangle, maybe you should go play something else. <clears throat> maybe a farm simulator or a truck simulator. Uh oh, yes. I like truck simulator. I really love cars and everything connected with them. Will we play racing games on this channel? We play what our subscribers love, man. If someone asks for a game with cars, we will definitely play it. Imagine how funny it will be if they start writing about GTA in the comments. He doesn't like violent games, but there are cars there. When I play GTA, I try to drive as carefully as possible so as not to run over anyone. And I buy cars only with the money I honestly earn. I usually work in a taxi or ambulance. I love helping people. That's so sweet, Gangle. Guys, stop offending him. He has a very vulnerable soul. He's a very kind guy. I completely agree with her. Gangle didn't deserve such negativity from you. Please try to be more polite. Okay, Saints. Let's now only discuss cute cats, unicorns, and cotton candy here. And in general, let's go play an animal breeding simulator in Roblox. I think this idea is pretty good. I've always wondered what would happen if you crossed a unicorn with a rhinoceros. Like, will he have two horns, or will he have one horn somewhere between his eyes? Is it just me, or has our conversation gone somewhere wrong? Let me remind you that we are playing Kids Prison Escape on Roblox right now. Yes, I've been through quite a bit here already. Wow, this gun shot me somewhere. This is a very convenient way to travel. We need to take note for our circus. Personally, I am against being shot at somewhere. I think we need a new guy who's willing to do this. Old Kofmo used to do this, but he's a little sick now. I'm not crazy about this idea either. I think we should have fixed our elevator a long time ago, which broke down because Kane decided to transport two circuses in it. Yes, I remember this moment. Besides the fact that they broke the elevator, they also did not fit in our corridor, so we had to make our rooms smaller and the corridor wider. Can I ask a rather strange question? I already guess what you want to ask, but I'll wait for your question. Why was it necessary to lead the elephants past our rooms at all? And in general, why do we need elephants if our circus does not use animals? Kane decided that these animals were perfect for filling the pond near the circus because they pump out water with their trunks but he didn't take into account that they do it for drinking. They do not know how to retain water inside for transportation. Did we just fall into a baby's mouth? It is very strange. Ugh, what are these disgusting sounds? Guys, this is some really cool parkour. It doesn't look like a game for children anymore. I really love parkour games. What are your favorite Roblox maps? My favorite Roblox maps are Jailbreak, Natural Disaster, and Arsenal. Jailbreak because of the variety of roles and objectives in the game. Natural Disaster because of the intense excitement and thrill of surviving a natural disaster. And Arsenal because of the fast-paced gameplay and constant action. What are your favorite Roblox maps? I agree with those. My favorites are also Jailbreak, Natural Disaster, and Arsenal. Jailbreak because of the variety in roles and objectives. Natural disaster because of the intensity and challenge of surviving a natural disaster and arsenal because of the fast-paced gameplay and constant action. I love jailbreak and natural disaster too. I also really like murder mystery too because of the mystery and suspense and Bloxburg because of the creativity and freedom. 
What are your favorite games aside from Roblox? My favorite games aside from Roblox would have to be Minecraft, Outlast, and Little Big Planet. I love Minecraft for its creativity and freedom, Outlast for its intensity and horror, and Little Big Planet for its cuteness and charm. I also really enjoy playing RPGs like Skyrim, Fallout, and The Witcher series because they have so much depth and storytelling. What are your favorite games besides Roblox? You have great taste. My favorite games besides Roblox would have to be The Witcher 3, Fallout, New Vegas, and Skyrim. I also really like Bioshock, Mass Effect, and Portal. I appreciate games that have a deep story, immersive gameplay, and interesting characters. What are your favorite video game characters? My favorite video game characters include Geralt of Rivia, Master Chief, and Samus. Geralt is a badass, heroic character who is always ready to fight for what he believes in. Master Chief is a badass sci-fi super soldier with a heart of gold. And Samus is a badass female protagonist who is super intelligent, determined, and an all-around badass. I also really like the characters of Portal and Bioshock for their witty humor and complexity. Okay guys, we've come quite far already. This game is much more difficult than the previous ones. Here, you really need to be a parkour pro to beat this game the first time and never die. By the way, we discussed our favorite games here, but forgot to ask our viewers about them. Guys, write your favorite game in the comments. If there are a lot of comments with the name of your game, we will definitely release a video on the channel where we play exactly it. So be sure to subscribe and turn on notifications so as not to miss your favorite game on our channel. I really want to play GTA 5, but we still have a large number of games in the queue. Guys, a lot of content awaits you. This is all thanks to your support. Thank you for continuing to watch our videos and subscribe to us. We are very pleased. By the way, did you notice that there haven't been any bosses in this game yet? We've been playing for quite a long time, but we haven't fought anyone yet. Maybe there will be a cool boss here at the very end. I don't like it. I don't like parkour. Mm, for me, this is very stupid gameplay. I like shooting and fighting more than just jumping on platforms. I just fight bosses the whole game. And I like parkour. I really love platformers since childhood, so I'm very good at jumping on all sorts of platforms. But with shooting, everything is pretty bad for me. I'm not used to playing shooters. In my childhood, there were almost none. There was only Doom, but aim was not the most important part there. And uh, I really love different simulators, but my favorite is still The Sims. I've been playing The Sims since I was a kid, but my favorite part is still the third one. Um, what I really liked about it was that the whole city was open and there were a huge number of additions to it. I remember how much fun I had playing the travel expansion where you could go to Egypt and explore the pyramids. It was very cool. By the way, this is similar to one of the missions in previous prison escape games. There too, it was necessary to move the platforms in order to move forward. It's strange that Kane is doing so poorly now. We've done this a bunch of times already. This game just has very bad physics for these items. They don't bend over. That's why sometimes they don't turn out the way you need them, but nevertheless, this game is much more diverse than the previous ones. And parkour here is also more interesting than in all of them combined. What irritates her here is that there is a lot of empty space. Sometimes you just have to walk for a very long time or constantly return to the beginning, like here. Is our character so weak that he cannot take several platforms with him at the same time? If it were possible to do that, this game would be too easy. Now it's very difficult for Kane to get the run-up to jump. Perhaps this is due to the fact that he installed this platform very poorly. I think it's worth taking another platform and making a bridge out of them so that you don't have to jump long distances. Great! You did as Bubbles said. I hope we get out of here now. We have been going through this test for a very long time, but it's not bad because it's very interesting. Look, this hole looks like the passage to the final boss. I hope this really will be the case. I'm already tired of looking at this endless parkour. I want to see Kane shoot. You got it wrong, Jax. This is speedrunning parkour. I love this. It's very dynamic and reminds me of the game Mirror Edge. By the way, this is a very cool parkour game. I can even call it the best in this genre. It's a pity that the third part has not yet been released. I would really like to play it. I heard something about this game. You're doing good, Kane. We are finally close to the end of this game. I hope you manage not to die again. Look, we're in some cool samurai garden. I think we need to move towards this strange fountain in the center. Or what is it? This is a bean cannon. Okay, we're going to have to fight here. However, 
I don't understand who our enemy is. And here are our enemies. They look like baby samurai. They are very cute. I wouldn't even shoot them. They don't look like those who could be a threat to us. There are a lot of them. I hope their number does not increase. They are quite difficult to hit with this gun. On top of all this, Kane's aim is bad. But I'm sure you can handle it, buddy. Bubble, something happened to your voice. I hope you didn't get sick because of the fan that... It's okay, buddy. Don't worry. Thank you for watching this video to the end. Like this video and write a comment with the name of your favorite game. Also, if you are not subscribed to the channel, be sure to click on the subscribe button under this video. And don't forget to turn on all notifications so you don't miss a video of your favorite game. See you soon, friends. Bye-bye, everyone. Hello, everyone, friends. Today we are playing Prison Escape Smiling Critters. Wow, everything is so purple here. Looks very nice. I really like it here. True, it looks like a thousand other prison escape maps, but this one has a very beautiful design. Why are we playing in third person here? This is so damn inconvenient! I'm really curious. What kind of bosses are we going to face? I hope there won't be a super Bubba Bubba Fant Cyber 3000 here. I'm so tired of this already. Let's just focus on completing this level as quickly as possible. By the way, there's a timer down there. Do you think we can get on the leaderboard today? I hope we can do it. We play jailbreak games so often that we may soon become speedrunners in this type of game. Cop Catnap is running right behind us! This cop is more difficult than the previous ones. By the way, I figured out how to make a first-person game. This means that now it will be much easier for us to play... Toilet again? Oh well, maybe the map creators should work a little on their imagination. All these games look the same. Now we should find ourselves in some kind of basement with lava and parkour. I know this game by heart. Sometimes I feel like we've already played every prison escape game there is in Roblox. In fact, I remember two maps that were different from all the others. This is a school escape and a baby jailbreak. There were completely different tasks, although in some places it was similar. Yes, I really like them too. I wonder what boss will be next. I hope it will be someone from Smiling Critters. By the way, Jax, have you learned how to behave since our conversation yesterday? Yes, guys. Excuse me, please. I was too stupid. Maybe I was just annoyed by the digital lasagna for breakfast yesterday. I promise that this won't happen again. What was wrong with my lasagna, buddy? Do you have something against my cooking? No, buddy. I just don't like lasagna. By the way, have you noticed that the creators of this map were too lazy to even create a new boss? It's just a fat night, like in a regular prison escape. Seriously? The same soda vending machine? This game is making me more and more sad. Okay, let's just admit that this is just a regular prison break with purple colors. They literally make the same game every time. By the way, guys, what prison escape games without Roblox do you know? Maybe we should play them for some gameplay variety. We could try Break the Prison, which is a more cartoonish style prison escape game. The guards are represented by dogs and the scenery is more lighthearted and humorous. You still have to find keys and navigate through the prison, but the game is much easier and less menacing than the others we've mentioned so far. There are also a few other games like the prison that are more simplistic and light-hearted. They may not provide the same level of difficulty or challenge, but the experience is still quite enjoyable. I'm actually getting tired of the prison break setting. I think we should ask our viewers what games they would like to see on our channel. You're absolutely right, Zubal. We want to play Pal World and Residence Massacre. Guys, would you like to see videos of these games? Write about it in the comments. Residence Massacre sounds pretty scary. Is this some kind of horror again? Residence Massacre is a horror game where you have to survive a night in an abandoned house which is inhabited by various paranormal entities and dangerous spirits. It's definitely not for the faint-hearted as the atmosphere is very tense and unnerving throughout the game. The goal is to survive until daylight and escape the house before the demons and ghosts get you. Oh my god, maybe we can play something not so scary? What was the second option? Pal World! Exactly, Play World! What kind of game is it? Its name is quite strange! Pal World is an incredibly unique game with a focus on cooperation and kindness. It's a multiplayer sandbox game that allows players to explore its vast and colorful world, interact with various characters and creatures, build and shape the environment, and take part in various activities, both together and independently. Pal World's emphasis on kindness and collaboration sets it apart from other games and provides a wholesome experience that emphasizes empathy and compassion. Sounds interesting. What should you do with it? Kane, have you really never heard of this game? Everyone on the internet is talking about her now. It's something like Pokemon, only there are slightly different creatures, although very similar. Oh, I love Pokemon. I used to collect trading cards with them as a kid. Eh, uh, 
If I knew that shiny Charizard would cost $1,000 now, I would never have exchanged it for a Burger King burger. With Pal World, players can explore and create their own unique and colorful world, interact with various characters and creatures, collect resources and items, build and shape the environment, and take part in various activities such as crafting, farming, hunting, and more. The game emphasizes kindness and cooperation and encourages players to help each other and work together to achieve shared goals. Well, that sounds pretty interesting. In any case, our viewers will decide whether we play it or not. If they want to see a video of this game, we will definitely do it. I have already played Pal World with my friend. I'd love to tell you a funny story about my Pal World experience. So one time, me and my friends were playing Pal World together when we stumbled across this silly looking goat and decided to approach him. But as we got closer to him, he suddenly got angry and started chasing us around. We tried to run away, but the goat was relentless and kept following us, causing all sorts of comedic antics. It was a very quirky situation, and we definitely had some good laughs from it. Haha, <laughs> sounds hilarious. How did you manage to get away from the goat in the end? We were running around in circles for a while, trying to get away from the goat, but it was relentless and just wouldn't quit. We were starting to get really tired, and suddenly we saw the goat trip and fall down a hill. Now this is where things got really tricky, as the goat began rolling down the hill and picking up speed. It was so hilarious to watch, and we couldn't help but laugh out loud at how silly the situation was. The goat rolled all the way to the bottom of the hill and got stuck in a mud pit, leaving us free to walk away in peace. What a wild ride. That goat was really determined to catch you guys. I'm glad you finally managed to get away from him, and the ending was hilarious. I can imagine the goat must have been very frustrated after all of that effort and ended up taking a tumble. I would have laughed too if I saw a goat rolling down a hill like that. Your stories about this game are tempting me more and more to download this game. I've already seen hundreds of videos about her on the internet. I really want to try to play it. Are there any games similar to Pal World? I'm very interested in sandbox games, without Minecraft, of course. Another sandbox game you could check out that's more similar to Pal World in terms of its colorful and cartoonish aesthetic and relaxed atmosphere is My Time at Portia. It's a 3D action and adventure sandbox game that combines elements of farming, crafting, building, and exploration in an open world. The gameplay is focused on managing resources, interacting with NPCs, completing quests, and developing your own personal story. Harvest Moon. This is a classic 2D farming simulator game that focuses on managing a farm and interacting with various NPCs in a small town setting. It has a relaxing and quaint atmosphere with vivid and colorful graphics. Terraria. This is a 2D sandbox game with a focus on crafting, exploring, and building. It has a retro pixel aesthetic and features various activities such as exploring, looting, fighting monsters, and building structures. The game is very open-ended and allows players to take their adventure in countless directions. Wow, it turns out there are so many sandbox games, but we only play Minecraft. We definitely need to try playing these games. I hope our viewers will ask us about this in the comments. Okay, we're getting to the final boss. Okay, we were almost right. This is a Super Cyber Catney 3000 with rocket launchers. In fact, he is no different from the original Cyber Boss at all. They didn't even change the location. We definitely need to play something different. Okay, here you need to defeat him using the same principle. You just need to shoot this bazooka into his hands. Okay, nothing complicated, I think. This boss is as easy as all the previous ones. Yes, I think we'll get through it quickly. This is not a boss from Dark Souls or some hardcore game. Here, it's enough to just run and shoot. It's like you're playing Call of Duty Warzone, LOL. Okay, this guy is defeated. Well, now we will get into the car as usual and go to the helicopter. I've done this 1,000 times already, and now it will be 1,001. I think I can already be issued a driver's license. You can only get them when you beat me in a race in Gran Turismo or Forza using the steering wheel. For now, it's scary to let you out on the roads. You might hit some grandma. It seems to me that it is generally impossible to put him behind the wheel of any passenger car. It is very difficult to find a car that will fit his long ears. I've already driven a car, Kane. Have you forgotten how I picked you up drunk from a restaurant along with a bottle? You actually said then that I was the best driver in our circus. 
The question of how your long ears fit into the car remains relevant. Okay, what about a helicopter license? I think it's definitely too early for you. Of course it's early. In order to control a helicopter, it is not enough to be able to press west on the keyboard. This is a more difficult skill. Definitely more difficult than washing dishes, Regatta. I think you're about to get banned again, Jax. I think the same. Maybe we can finally kick him?